Let's talk about objects and classes and how they're developed in PHP. First of all, let's get some vocabulary. The first term is a class or an object. And they're keys in understanding how to develop an object-oriented program. If you look around you, you can see everything in your surroundings that you would say is like a noun can be modeled in a computer program as an object. For instance, your dog, or your desk, or your TV, or your bicycle, or a user, or a shopping cart, or a product, or a video game character. Everything that you see can, that can be named as a noun is an object. And so we'll start off by using an analogy here of an object like a, a dog. Look on the right side here. We've got a dog object. He has properties such as his name, his color, age, breed, hunger, his happiness level, and his value. But your dog can do things too. So if you were to program a robotic dog, you might have a method in there called fetch. And you can say fetch a newspaper. Or you can tell your robotic dog sleep for 20 minutes. Or you might have a method called bark. And so you can think of a robot or a video game character as a great example of an object with properties and methods. Let's take a minute to think about what we would do in our application with a store. And we would have uh, objects for users or persons. So if we were to have a person in your application, we would first of all think of all the properties that this person object might need. So we would say a person has a name, and that would be a string. The person would have an address, maybe a shipping address, maybe a home address. They would have a salary if they were an employee. They could have a password. They could have an active status, whether they're an active customer or an active employee. And then we could give them a birth date. You can think of lots of things that would be properties for a person. But we would have methods that would go along with the program as well. So think of the uh, properties and how we would change them. So for instance, somebody attempts a login and you would have a function or a method we would call it as login with a password attempt. And then somebody might have another way to uh, access the properties on the, on the user and that we could cre create a, a function called set password. And we could get a function like get birthday, which would return a string of their birthday. We could do update photo and assign a new headshot to this person. We could set their active status to true or false. And so those are some of the properties and methods that you might think of if you had a person object. 